Welcome to another episode of Profile. I am Raul. Today we're going to be looking at the Synthrotech MST VCO. Uh, I thought we'd start things off a little bit differently today and actually do an unboxing, which we normally don't do. Uh, but it might give us an opportunity to take a look at some of the other features of the module that we usually don't look at. So let's go ahead and open the box, take this little guy out. I'm very excited about this one. So we got, let's see, we got a nice uh, polarity protected cable. Nice. And then also in the box, we got this guy right here. Survey, new product questionnaire. There we go. From Synthrotech. I've gotten a couple of these in their modules. This uh, actually helps the process along for them and uh, gives them a way to communicate with their uh, customers, which is a good thing, I suppose. And we got a Synthrotech MST voltage controlled oscillator quick start guide. Not bad. Uh, I do appreciate when a manufacturer takes the time to put a manual inside of it, or at least some kind of guide that gives you a ballpark as to what you're doing. Because sometimes, as some of you may know, some of us don't know what we're doing. And then we got a printout of what looks like the product information from the website. Sorry, I moved away from my mic. Um, yeah, so product information from the website, very useful. Uh, we'll go into more detail on the specs and the features and the knobs and all that good stuff here in a little bit. And then there's one more thing in the box. Let me see if I can get it out without making a mess here. Shake the box. There we go. And this is a, thanks for purchasing a Synthrotech product. Awesome. They stand behind their products 100%. And if you have any questions or need help, it's got the number on there that you can call. A great bunch of guys out there too. So taking it out of its nice little bubble wrap package. Here we go. And there is that little beauty. Let's see if I can get it in the camera line there. Yeah. And the first thing I'll notice is that it's uh, fairly a little bit heavier than some of my other modules, but uh, heavy, in my estimation, I guess is a good thing because then I can tell that you know there's quality parts in this. You know, it's not going to break. It doesn't feel flimsy in any way whatsoever. The knobs feel solid. Uh, but I could say that uh, about most of the Matson gear. Uh, that I've seen. Uh, if you're familiar with the Matson sequencer that came out a few years ago, um, as well as, of course, the Matson mini modular modules that are out there. Uh, not exactly the same size and format for Euro, but, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, actually a proprietary size uh, that George Matson uh, created. Uh, now, with this collaboration with Synthrotech, he's bringing that quality and sound to the world of Euro. So there you go. Uh, the first thing I notice right away is there's a one volt per octave adjustment right on the front, which is definitely a cool feature. Um, I myself have not calibrated my oscillators too often, uh, but I know online when I look, uh, that's one of the main things a lot of people have issues with is calibrating their VCOs. And in general, on most Euro VCOs, you have that kind of trimmer on the back. Um, and as you can see on the back of the module, you have quite a few uh, places where you can adjust your oscillator. So let's get a look at these since we usually don't look at this kind of stuff. So I'm just going to have a seat and then go over some of these with you. Hopefully I get this line of the camera. Yep. Okay. That should work. Okay. So starting at the top, you have a negative octave offset adjustment up here. Uh, and then a little further down, you have the positive octave adjust. Uh, you have a linear jumper right here. So I guess if you wanted to adjust that, you could. And then right next to that, you have the linear curve adjustment. Uh, right above that, we have a warp adjustment. And then down here at the bottom, bottom keynote adjustment. And then very, very bottom over here, we have the sine wave shape adjustment. So um, if you need any assistance in figuring out how to adjust these, I would recommend getting in touch with Synthrotech. I either check out their website to see if there's instructions on there or go ahead and shoot them an email or give them a call since you'll have their phone number inside your MST VCO box. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Okay, now let's go on to mounting this thing and uh, we'll get a look at the front panel. 
in more detail. So here we are, the module has been mounted, as you can see right here, we have the MST VCO. Uh, I thought we'd go into the front panel now and take a look at some of the dials and potentiometers and switches, just to get a better idea as to what we're actually dealing with. Uh, as we said before, this is a collaboration between Synthrotech and Matson, uh, George Matson of Matson Mini, Mini Modular. Um, and I am sure that once we get this plugged in and listen to it, we're going to we're going to be very impressed with the sound. So just spec wise, from what I read, it is actually a six octave, one volt per octave trackable VCO. Uh, you also have pulse width, a couple modulation inputs and five simultaneous waveforms that are available to you at any given time. Uh, we'll start at the top. Here's your course tune right there, as you can see. Uh, and then you have your octave switch. So you can switch up one octave or stay right there in the middle or go down one octave. You also have your fine tune manual control. Uh, here in the middle, you have a manual pulse width control. Uh, I pointed it out when we were looking at the unboxing earlier. We have one volt per octave adjustment right here on the front panel. So very, very convenient if you need to calibrate your VCOs at any time. Uh, over here we have a modulation one input, so that's going to be tied to this input right here. So if you plug in a CV of some sort, like an LFO or an envelope, uh, this is going to allow you to adjust how much of that is going to affect uh, your VCO. Your second modulation input right here uh, is going to, I, I suppose, be summed and then applied to the VCO if you have two modulation sources input here. Uh, I didn't actually see that listed as a note. I may have to shoot them a little note right there. Uh, but at any rate, uh, the other thing to note about these is that these can be used as FM input jacks right there. Uh, over on the far right, we have a pulse width modulation CV input. So you can pipe in your uh, CV signals that you'd like to modulate the pulse width with. Um, over here on the right, you can adjust the amount of pulse width modulation that is going to be applied from your CV signal that's being input right there. So basically this is your modulation section right there in the middle. And then down at the bottom, you have your output and input for your one volt per octave. So right here is your one volt per octave control voltage input where you put your notes. And then over here are your uh, output uh, waveforms. You have a sine wave right there, triangle wave, of course, uh, saw wave, saw plus one, which means it's actually a saw that's one octave above this saw wave. And then we have a square wave. So there you have it. That is the MST Synthrotech, uh, Matson Synthrotech collaboration VCO profile. Uh, stay tuned, we are gonna be doing some audio demonstrations. I'm a little bit behind schedule. So this video uh, will be released as of today. And uh, you should be seeing the VCO demonstration here in the next day or so. So stay tuned for that. Uh, let me know feedback or any comments or anything, what you thought of the unboxing, if I need to kind of continue doing that or maybe not so much. Uh, but please, at any time, just leave a uh, feedback on the website for this video. Um, and also keep in mind, uh, later this year, I will be at KnobCon. So if you don't know what that is, I would recommend looking it up. Uh, it's a synthesizer convention uh, for modular uh, held in Chicago uh, at, uh, let's see, I can't remember. the. I know it's at the Westin Hotel. Uh, and I want to say it's in Schaumburg, but I may be mistaken. But look it up online, September 11th through the 13th. Um, and if you've never been, uh, it will be a great, great, great thing for you to take advantage of. So get out there and meet some other Wigglers that uh, might share some knowledge with you. Meet some of the manufacturers. It's going to be a great event this year. Uh, I think last I heard we had uh, people coming from all kinds of different countries. Uh, so it should be a pretty interesting year at KnobCon this year. So at any rate, stay tuned for the demonstrations, and we'll see you next time.